I'm Ollie Wilson. This is GP Fans. We're still over a week away before the Formula One season gets back on track with the Belgian Grand Prix. So here's our special for today as we take a look at the history and the rise of Red Bull and Red Bull Racing. Perhaps Mercedes fans might want to look away now. Now, Red Bull Racing has been very successful indeed, with five world championships over the past 12 years, thanks to Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen. But all of this only became possible thanks to owner Dietrich Matschitz, co-founder of Red Bull and owner of Red Bull Racing since 2004. Matschitz first encountered the drink Kratang Deng in 1982 during a trip to Thailand. The drink turned out to be the basis of Red Bull for Matschitz, which subsequently became a resounding success in terms of both a product, its sales, and a general business. Red Bull was founded by Matschitz together with Chalio Uvidya, the developer of Kratang Deng. The energy drink Red Bull first marketed in Austria, and the drink wasn't actually allowed to be sold in Germany at the time, so many Germans would actually cross the border to try and get their hands on a can. Red Bull sold 1 million cans in their first 12 months. But later on, the drink was marketed to the rest of Europe. And with the rest of Europe came the rest of the world. And suddenly the sales went from 1 million cans a year to 1 million cans a day, with the brand successfully marketing to the student party scene, nightclubs, and of course, extreme sports. It all started with the simple sponsorship of Austrian F1 legend Gerhard Berger, in 1989, Red Bull's first motorsport athlete. And in the mid 90s, Red Bull became a sponsor of the Sauber F1 team. But the real adventure into Formula One for Matchitz started really in 2004. That year, the Austrian became the owner of Jaguar Racing. This was because Red Bull had ended its previous partnership with Sauber back in 2001 because Red Bull talent Enrique Bernaldi was cast aside for a young Finnish driver, Kimi Raikkonen, who was given a contract at the team. Maybe a good idea in the end though, by Sauber. Matchitz then decided to buy Jaguar Racing and change the name to Red Bull Racing. A year later in 2005, Matchitz would strike again buying the F1 team from Minardi together with Gerhard Berger and renaming it Toro Rosso. The team would become, of course, the sister team of Red Bull Racing under the same ownership. This laid the foundation for the success that was about to come. The big win was yet to come for Red Bull, but 2010 began the journey. Sebastian Vettel joined Red Bull Racing in 2009 after impressing at Toro Rosso. The German went on to win the Drivers' World Championship with Red Bull Racing in 2010, 2011, 2012 and 2013. Matchitz had hit the big time, but then came an eight-year drought. Mercedes had begun to dominate Formula One with Lewis Hamilton, the British driver winning title after title, while Red Bull Racing as the number two on the grid could only watch along with Ferrari. Then in 2016, there was Max Verstappen, who, like Vettel, had impressed at Toro Rosso and was allowed to make his debut for Red Bull Racing during the Spanish Grand Prix in 2016 as a replacement for Danny Kvyat. The duo of Danny Ricciardo and Kvyat had been driving for Red Bull for years, but were unable to bring back a constructor's title behind Mercedes. Verstappen won his first F1 race in a Red Bull, holding off Raikkonen for the victory. Then both Verstappen and Red Bull got better every single year until the team was able to challenge Hamilton and Mercedes' dominance for the first time in 2021, when, of course, the Dutch driver went on to win the Drivers' World Championship. With the current course of 2022 and the age of Verstappen, Red Bull looks like they could once again be a dominant force in Formula One under the financial leadership of owner Matschitz, with the aim to replicate the success, of course, of the 2010 to 2013 period. That is by no means the only endeavor, though, that Matschitz has made into the world of motorsport. The Austrian entrepreneur also owned Team Red Bull between 2006 and 2011, which competed in the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Furthermore, Matchitz is also the owner of the Red Bull Ring, the home of Red Bull Racing, and since 2014, the permanent organiser of the Austrian Grand Prix in Formula One. He bought this circuit in 2004 when it was still called the A1 Ring. 
Matchitz is also the one who created the football club RB Leipzig, or Red Bull Leipzig, that play in the German Bundesliga. And he owns several other, perhaps smaller, football teams, such as New York Red Bulls and RB Salzburg, or Red Bull Salzburg. And of course, the brand is now a sponsor of a whole host of athletes from a huge range of sports from around the world. So Red Bull are here to stay, it feels, when it comes to motorsport and sports in general. Will they be the dominant force for the next few years in Formula One? Will Mercedes be able to catch up in terms of pace and power? And will Ferrari be able to sort out their reliability? Let us know in the comments section below, as always, gpfans.com for the latest breaking news in Formula One.